take over. Yeah, yeah, coming to the walking, uh, this is one of the initial concepts we had, like to uh, show, I mean, uh, come up with a program how it's going to walk. But that's not the real one which we are looking for. <laughs> Close of this one. Uh, the concept of uh, the the way the way we up. Sorry, guys. The way. Oh, go back. Go go back. Uh, the the concept behind. Uh, <laughs> one more. One more. Dude. Okay, the concept behind uh, achieving the walking is that there are three basic steps uh, uh, which we can uh, use, like uh, yeah, the design the walking one. Right, you please the this first step fine, and then the second step, instead of oh, lifting what's the, up leg, with the sound, it falls dude? forward. <laughs> That's because it's... Still being worked on, uh, the walking takes a lot of things because I have no sensors on it, so I can't determine it's any type of position or anything like that. So it's all a matter of uh, trial and error. It's not going okay. so bad. The, 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 when, when, when we are designing this, uh, the way the walking works is based on three concepts. Uh, one is the body center weight, uh, where initially the, way, the motion is given at the center and the legs, the, then the motion, the second, the second step is we give on the legs. And the second uh, uh, method is uh, first we move the legs, then it activates the center uh, way to balance it. And the third one is the combination of all the three. That's the theoretical concept behind the walking. Now, this is pretty close to the uh, resemblance of a human person where the hip, knee, and the angle moves in a leg. That's the concept behind these legs. Now, as coming to the legs, it's a quadrupant uh, walking mechanism we are seeing here. Uh, each leg has uh, uh, three uh, revolute joints, which makes them to revolute that motion to achieve that walking. I'll pass on to a train. Oh, there's no sound effect on this one. Uh, this is our crawling motion. Uh, we actually took this from a previous person that was uh, here at FIU. He wrote, he um, did research on discovering the optimal optimized angles for your link length according to the speed of crawl. So. According to the angle I give this wave, it will maximize the amount of distance it moves forward. So that's what I did with this crowbar. And if you look at it, uh, the wave, since we extended the length before, I, I, I couldn't start the wave before finishing it. If you notice, the wave starts before it ends. So you get two waves in the same movement. And if you keep going, you, get, you can get up to three, probably. Yeah. Uh, this is our roll. Um, this is also going to get much better uh, once we get a gyro on there. I'll be able to determine its position as far as... Um, right now what we're doing is just rolling along. What we want to do is create a forward momentum and keep a ball shape. Because right now what we're doing is just uh, doing like a, a train track. Not a train track, I'm sorry, a tank track that rolls along. Uh, what we want to do is actually be a ball to where we're just going to start with a forward momentum and try to keep it going with uh, certain positions. But we need a gyro on there to do that, and we just got our compiler yesterday, I mean this morning. Um, final conclusions is, in a, lot of these, uh, <laughs> in a lot of these movements, you have constraints. Uh, for example, in this one, we had a lot of singular positions that we couldn't meet. We're very restricted in... As far as depending on which angle you are in certain servos, the other servos uh, have a large restriction on what positions they can be in. And uh, we developed probably over six, seven gates that we're still optimizing to see which one will be the best solution. Uh, also, we want to add several sensors, <coughs> uh, camera. The end product of this is going to actually communicate with MATLAB so that we don't have a size constraint. That's why uh, we can't load up all three of our uh, movements at the same time because we have a size constraint. So what we want to do is link it to MATLAB so we can have our program run in MATLAB and just communicate with it into what positions and what angles we want it to take. Um, also, a gyro and a camera are going to be added. And that's about it. Any questions? References?
that is a power flux. It's all right.